Hey everyone, this is the Pythonic Accountant. Welcome back to another episode. I'm going to do another one on PDF files because yeah, my listeners seem to really enjoy uh, watching the different videos on uh, extracting data from PDF files. So with this one, we're going to be looking at a PDF that has multiple lines of text for each record that we're trying to combine together. So we're going to show how to do that. Here is the PDF file, and the three lines we're interested in are these three right here, where you've got the main line with all the data, and then this additional line here that has this HSN code, and then this additional line here with the site data. So for this example, we're going to keep it simple and assume that this one's always four digits, this one's always four you know, alpha numeric characters that start with the T, and that's what we're using to capture them. We're also assuming that it always exists. It gets a little more complex if this doesn't always exist in each of these records. Um, and so maybe in a future video, we'll show some more complex examples. So to start, we're just going to grab the same libraries we like to use, collections, name tuple, uh, regex, PDF plumber, and pandas. Um, we're going to define our line with the name tuple using the description uh, or the column names that we want to create in our output. Um, this is where we're creating the regex to capture the line that we want. So this is one digit followed by a space followed by two or more digits. And that's going to capture uh, these lines here. We're going to have to more specifically target uh, when we want to capture these lines. Um, next, I'm creating a function here that's going to convert a uh, number that's stored as text into a, a float, which so we can do a summing with it. Um, here is, I'm just going to show what the uh, uh, file looks like without doing any editing to it. So if we just print the file, and actually let's take out this tolerance real quick and I can show you what it looks like without that. It gives you some kind of crap where the spaces aren't working right. Um, and so what I like to do is add this tolerance in here so it'll actually give you uh, kind of the correct spacing in here. It just it adjusts the X tolerance for spaces. And so this just gives you a, a kind of a gut check of what am I trying to capture? Um, what does the data look like within Python that I'm trying to capture? Is it consistent with what I see in the PDF file? So it's really a good first gut check before you start trying to actually extract any information. Um, and then this is really where the meat of it is. I've got this data uh, list that's an empty list I create. And then I open the file, go and append to that list every time I get a row that I want to append. But it's a little more complex than just find the row, append it, because I've got multiple rows. And so that's where I have to first say, OK, well, which line am I in? Um, am I in the main line? If so, then I'm going to assign the output uh, split to each of these different uh, column names. And note that I have to use this asterisk description uh, because I know that there's going to be spaces in the description here. And fortunately, that's the only uh, column that has spaces in it. It gets even more complex if there's multiple columns that have spaces in it. But since it's the only one, I can use this Python trick that says, OK, I know that I want this number of uh, items split and that there may be more than, than I'm asking for. So if there's more, then just dump them into here. And then it's this next row uh, of line of code here. I'm just joining those uh, extra ones back together into this description variable. Um, next, I'm doing, and actually, let me just show you what this looks like because it's kind of cool. So I'll do print description and then print description after it's joined up. And you'll see it gives you uh, the three, uh, the four pieces split into four different uh, strings in a list. And then when I join it back together, it's now just one big string. And so I can actually add it to my uh, data there. Um, next, I'm doing some other checks. So if, it, if the line starts with grand, then I'm done. So I just want to break out of this whole thing if it starts with grand. Uh, because I know that grand total is after the last item here, and so I don't want to do anything else there. Um, next, I've got the trying to capture um, four digits, which is what I was saying. The HSN code right here is that four digits. And if it is uh, a match, then I assign the data in that line to this HSN code variable. And then finally, the last piece is that uh, TD or TE or whatever, the site code. I'm assigning that now to the site variable. And so I know that if I reach this site variable, I, I know that that's the last line just by looking at this visually before I do anything to it. I know that's the last line before I want to go ahead and create my record. And so now I'm going to take all the stuff that I assigned here and here and here and dump it into one uh, list or one um, named tuple. 
which I'm going to then append to my data. So note I'm not appending until I get all the information I need to append, and then it's going to do it three times. And so finally I create a data frame based on those three records of data, and the output is uh, right here, these three records, uh, number one, two, and three, and all of the relevant data from it. And just as kind of a gut check, we can um, convert the total base and the IGST numbers into actual numbers and then grab the sum and just validate that they match up with what's in the PDF. So that's 2860. Sure enough, that matches 2860. And then this one is 34320. Sure enough, 34320 matches up. And so just for kind of a final thing, let's extract this into a CSV. And that converts into a CSV file here. And um, that's not the right one. Let's try again. There we go. So now you've got number one, two, three, article, description, and uh, there you have it. So that's my nice little Pythonic example of how to convert uh, multiple lines of PDF file information into uh, individual uh, records and then extract into a CSV file. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you liked it, please click like. If you want to watch more, please click subscribe. Um, and uh, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or comments or if there's a, a you know specific file that you're interested in uh, having presented on the next video, please send it. I would uh, enjoy taking a look at it and seeing if it's something that might be good uh, content to share with others. So just make sure there's no personal or sensitive information in it. And thanks. Hope you have a good one. Bye.